Welcome to Cutting Edge. Today we will reverse sear our favorite cut, Black Angus ribeye. This time we're going to finish it off on a cast iron skillet. And as a bonus, we will use the flambadou that originates back in the Middle Ages to add extra depth of flavor to our steak. Well, it kind of looks like a medieval torture <laughs> device. It does. Stay tuned. I have here two beautifully marbled Black Angus ribeyes and we have the gas grill preheated to 120 degrees Celsius. We are going to place the ribeyes on the heating rack here in the back with a temperature probe in each of them, like this. And now we let them sit there for probably 30 to 40 minutes until they reach an internal temperature of 53 degrees Celsius. Our steaks have reached an internal temperature of 52 degrees, so it's time to get them off the grill. Now we're going to set them to a side here and let them rest for a couple of minutes before we sear them. Let's sear our steaks. I'm using here avocado oil, it has a high smoke point, good for searing steaks. And let's get them on. And that's what you want to hear. I'm going to add a twig of rosemary to give them some taste, some flavor. We are going to give them a minute, a minute and a half of each side, not more. After a good minute, it's time to turn them. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Beautiful ribeyes. Let's have a look. Perfect. They're done. Let's plate them. Now it's a moment of truth. Let's cut into this one and see how it looks. That is just one perfect medium red juicy ribeye. Look at that. Look. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Time for the medieval flambadou. Take it here. We add nova butter. I'm really curious to try it. You? Yeah, of course I am. Dive in. Nice big piece here. Mm. Mm. That's quite interesting. It's very good. That has a lot of good flavor to the steak. I'm surprised. That's the way to a girl's heart. <laughs> Diamonds and flowers, my ass. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>